I am here to introduce to you Long Chills and Queso. So what the heck is this? Surprise, there's a little story here. This is a story we decided to include in the last box of the year of Sanderson. Um, we wanted something special for this box. It had been an entire year of people supporting me through this Kickstarter. Um, we originally had said, you know, we're not going to put any extra fiction in these boxes uh, because we didn't want people to have, you know, fear of missing out on stories and things like that. We made it very clear you were getting stories for the year of Sanderson as the four secret projects, and we weren't planning to put anything in. But then uh, Peter on my editorial team came with this suggestion. Um, this is a story I wrote in the early 2000s. Uh, we have this line of books we call Sanderson Curiosities, which are my unpublished work. In fact, uniformly, these are books I just didn't feel were good enough to release commercially. So um, imagine them like the B-sides that a band might have. They're still worth you know, listening to as long as you know their B-sides, as long as you know what you're getting into. I happen to really like B-sides. Um, they, they show a behind the scenes sort of look at the band, the sort of music that they were jamming to when they were creating what became their famous albums. Well, these are the stories that I was working on in the years either before I got published or after I got published that I feel like just didn't quite ever click. Um, early in the 2000s, I decided to try practicing writing short fiction, shorter fiction, uh, novelettes and novellas. Um, I wanted to practice this form. I wanted to get better at it. It was something that I felt was a hole in my writing repertoire, so to speak. I was getting pretty good at long form, but short form, not so much. During this time, I wrote two novellas that were pretty decent. The stronger of them is Defending Elysium, which I did eventually publish. I feel like it was uh, publishable, of, um, pretty strong, and it became the foundation for the Skyward series. This is another series. Uh, story that I wrote during that time. Not quite as good. Uh, I'll be frank with you. Um, Peter, uh, my editorial VP, VP, is quite fond of it. People who've read it are like, yeah, this is good. But it's just not quite up to my current standards. But I thought that people would really enjoy having a little piece of my history. Um, during this time, I was reading a bunch of uh, hard-boiled detective stories. Uh, they're a classic. They're wonderful. Uh, I enjoy the use of language and the use of slang in these things. Uh, I tried my hand at writing one, and I was terrible uh, because it, what didn't feel authentic. And I stewed on that for a while. The, the, the character felt like a caricature of these old stories, and I realized I can work with that. And so I instead wrote this story, uh, this story which is about a detective in the future who loves these old hard-boiled detective stories and is trying to live that life um, a little bit quirkily. And so because of that, the fact that I, as a fan, am reading these and writing them and it feeling a little inauthentic actually really works because he, as a fan, is miming all of this or mimicking it and therefore being a little bit inauthentic in his own authentic way. Uh, so it is a fun story that we included in the year of Sanderson. And like all of the Sanderson curiosities, our plan is to release the ebook for free um, so that those who are following these things can just read it without the fear of missing out. And this was the piece that made us say, yeah, we can put this in the box. As long as we're giving it out to, for free to everyone, then we don't feel bad slipping this in there. People won't feel like they're missing out. We will sell the hardcover on our site if you want to get a hold of a copy. In fact, it's up for sale right now. Um, but again, this is for those who want a glimpse at who I was as a writer in the years right before I ended up publishing. So that's my introduction to you. I hope that you enjoy uh, Long Chills in Case Stowe.